Hello, my name is Ben Brown and I'm a filmmaker and photographer. Uh, what's the next bit? What's up guys, good morning, welcome to the Kruger National Park. Um, we're in South Africa. We had such a good night last night. Maybe one or two too many gin and tonics. Today we're going to be having some demonstrations from the anti-rhino poaching people um, about basically how they do it. Good morning Esther the Pizang. Hello mate. Um, quick question. What do you need? Do I put the headphones in the... The one with the headphone? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be too hot to do the dog straight after breakfast or lunch. So we'll do them a bit later this afternoon. Morning Bob. How's it going? Good. Good. This is my office, as you can see, in one of the um, game vehicles. It's because the only place that has power. We have an inverter I can plug in, charge my batteries, do my editing. We're in a, in a, a campsite that isn't enclosed. Um, so everything around us is just wild, open um, wilderness with elephants, rhinos, hyena, lion, everything you can imagine straight out of the Lion King. I'm staying inside the vehicle, but I did just hear what I think is like a lion roar. But you can hear them for kilometers away. So it could be, uh, it's probably quite far away. I hope. Here it is, the most valuable commodity on the planet. Rhino horn, valued up to $100,000 per kilo. And it's made out of the same stuff as my nails. Maybe I should start selling my nails. Dude. My nail clippings, if it's worth that much. It's keratin based, yeah. but it's, it's, it's rods and cones that grow like that, but yeah. Amazing. It always jacks it's incredibly it heavy. if you step it on. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of behind the scenes. We've got Adrian on that big old camera. He's just getting one more, una mas. And then we've got Ben and Nicole. Crazy how heavy that thing is, isn't it? About seven, kilos. seven he said. So that's worth how much? If you're getting $100,000 a kilo, $700,000. But level two, three guys, so the guys that get it off the poachers, will get half a million rand for that. Just to reiterate, we're here with Rhino Tears, who make wine. And what happens with the profits from the sales of Rhino Tears is it all goes straight to sand parks, South African national parks. And the money, every single cent of it, is used um, to help fund the uh, rhino poaching war. So, drink wine, save the rhinos. It's a great concept. This is where some of the money goes. From the wine sales to uh, equipping the foot soldiers. Dude, you know, you know the way to that. 20 something. 23 kilos. They try to keep it to 23 kilos and they go for like seven days or that. They have a slingshot check. Because if they don't, if they're approached by like a rhino or an elephant or something and they don't want to fire a shot and give away their position, they can just sling a little stone. And most of the time the game will run off. These uh, massive deadly animals are actually really just very scared of humans. And rightly so. Because humans tend to shoot the animals and then cut their noses off. We are going for a little game walk. Go and see some snares that have been set up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now what he's done is a Poacher. Bit <laughs> this is how to make instant fire. That was about a minute. Yeah. I'm just really suspicious of everything now. Everything's like, a trap. That, like, yeah, any kind of twig. What's going on? Elephant bull and must. Oh, again? We didn't we have this last year? Great. Yeah, we arranged especially for you. Thanks. <laughs> just stay together. Don't, uh, just stay as a group. Gradient between us and the elephant, or a big bush. Okay, so we're going to ask you to move, you guys need to listen. Guys, right, come closer. Closer, closer, bunch up please. Luckily the elephant made a run for it. That's what I thought. That's what I thought, yeah. What I thought, mate. Yeah. Yeah, you run, walk mate. Walk on, walk on. Jog on, mate. Yeah. It's interview time. Nicole is uh, conducting the interview. Adrian, you ready to shoot this interview? Ready. 
nice. This uh, FS700 is pretty much obsolete now, thanks to the camera I'm shooting my vlogs on. It still Everyone looks like a beast. It. Yeah, it's for sale on eBay. Come and collect it, 20 quid. What? Cinematic panning shot. Oh, good. How was, how was the interview, John? Was it good? Great, thank you. Awesome, thank you so much, Thanks, eh? John. Thank you. How was that, Baba? Yeah, I mean, you did good. <laughs> no, you were, you were doing, you were a good interviewer. Yeah, I just battled to link together sometimes. Yeah. Dream team interview squad. Now what? Now we can shoot some dogs. Yeah. In the face. <laughs> Not in the face. We're going to be pretend to be the poachers, and they're going to do a demonstration of uh, the dogs tracking us down. And now we're going to bosses. Oh, because we're going to walk about. We're going to lay a trail of about 800 meters. Cool. It's quite important. This is now an exercise, so it's quite important that we simulate it as fast as possible according to what's going to happen in the natural environment. Oh no, it's any better. Honey badger tracks. Yeah. Just very quickly. Okay, come and feel this. Even in this heat, we should feel this. Yeah. Can you feel how hot it is? Feel yeah. the heat. <laughs> feel the heat coming out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's heat coming yeah, out of there. Keep it between 27 and 30 degrees, 33 degrees Celsius. That pronounced activity there could point to possible rain coming. You can see how they're lifting up the chimney. So. These are oh, building the chimneys. Yeah, these, these are, are termites, eh? <laughs> so they open yeah. and close them to maintain that temperature between. We've been walking for about 20 minutes, and we've taken a 90 degree turn to the left. Before you sit down, what the two of us are going to recommend is to remove branches. Shh, we gotta stay super quiet because the dogs have really great hearing. <laughs> That was fantastic. Thanks, Yaku. Congratulations. Hello, my boy. Good boy. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> it's not how the poachers will normally behave, obviously. Congratulating the dog. You are beautiful, aren't you? Yes. Frontline defense against rhino poaching. What's his name? I'm not going to say that. Can't disclose the name of the dog. How was that? It was epic. On a mission. As soon as they put the harness on, his tail just goes... Yeah. This is a message to the poachers. If you see this guy coming, you better know you're in trouble. He doesn't want to play. Come on. He wants to work now. The exercise of the dog actually coming to find us was a huge success, obviously. And um, I got some good shots and I've left most of it out of the vlog because it's kind of being exclusively used for the film. Uh, we have a situation. The mud was less solid than I expected. Oh, not a bad sunset. Yo. Where's that coming from? What's that? Is it a kill? Another amazing day in the bush, learning so much about the rhino poaching and the dogs, the tracking dogs. Um, we're actually going to be running a campaign soon uh, to raise money to actually buy um, Sam Parks a dog, uh, a tracking dog to train up. Um, but I'm going to tell you more about that later and there's going to be a whole process of choosing what the dog's name is going to be. Um, but yeah, today was epic. I will check you guys tomorrow. In the meantime, remember to work hard, be nice to people, and try not to get lost or killed. Okay, I love you guys, goodbye. Adrian getting the shot. Look how smooth his walk walking skill is. This is how I walk. That is a cinematographer's walk, very steady. You should see the shot, it's so shaky. Is it? <laughs> Shh, don't tell them. <laughs>